Hello. Hello. Hello, Congressman. Mr. President, how are you? I sure wish you'd help me on this farm bill. I'm uh, trying as hard as I can to be of what assistance I can, Mr. President. That will be that will be awfully appreciated. I'll tell you, I just don't want to, I don't want Republicans to make a policy issue out of it against me. And if I pass this bill. It'll save the Treasury a hundred odd million more than if you kill it. If you vote to kill the bill, uh, I, it'll cost us a hundred million more than if you pass it. And it'll help my budget, it'll help my farmer, it'll help put us on the same basis as the Japanese and buying cotton, it'll help our textile workers while well, I've got some unemployment, and it'll show we can, we boys can have a little leadership. And I don't like but just four or five, and I sure wish you'd help me. Well, I have been talking to the speaker, I've talked to Hale and others, and I frankly feel that uh, I've been doing what I could, for instance, on this food stamp plan. Yeah. It seems to hold a certain key yeah. to a number of folks. Yeah, it does. If, if, we can't, if we can't pass food stamp and get that amendment out of there, requiring 50% of the state because it won't work with it, if we can't pass that, we can't touch the farm bill. And uh, I worked on this place, Mr. President, Point. But uh, over the years, uh, we have stuck together as a party. Hale has been our leader, and we have just defended him back home everywhere we could, and we want to stick together as far as we can go. I'm up against a situation now after having uh, my district and the adjoining one, Ed Willis's district, I think for the first in many states that President Kennedy was elected. Uh, as far as percentage of votes given to us, Other than being in a box in my district, a very practical thing, over the past several months, Farm Bureau has fought me every time I've come up. I have no reason to be uh, particularly uh, leaning towards their philosophies because they've always fought me and I've fought them openly. Yeah. But at the same time, many other farmers, people in my areas, maybe self-serving, have unanimously, I have not seen one word from one farmer other than That's been the advice that kills me. Often I've gone against their advice. And this, I'm just searching any way I can. Ashton, this is a pure voluntary thing on both the cotton and the wheat. They couldn't, if they don't want to, they don't need to. And you're saving my budget over $100 million. Next year, it'll cost us $400 million less than it did last year. But if we kill this bill, it'll cost me $125 million more. At the same time, I get some relief from my textile people in every one of the Carolinas, the boys that help us, every congressman in Georgia. I'm not going to lose but one from my own state that's going to be voting against me. And if you ever stayed with me, stay with me this time. Mr. President, uh, I'll come down there. I'll come down there. And what I have to do if I have to, if I have to walk barefooted through your district, and I'll see that you don't pay any, uh, any penalty for it. You're very kind. I'm this is the one vote this year. But I just don't want to Halleck and them to to have a party vote, all of their men lining up, and then I find out about 35 or 40 of my Democrats quit and then go over and join him, and then I'm repudiated, and I just can't take it. Well, President, uh, may yes. I say this? I'm, I'm very honored that you just called me. I know your concern on this matter, and it's, it's my concern, please. Well. And I'm going to, again, have conferences with some people back home to try to uh, work something out, and believe me, I will. If you'll stay with me, I'll appreciate this. And uh, let's see what can be developed, um, if I can, without actually vacating commitments that are uh, precious to them, at least, in this area, uh, I certainly will do everything I can. You do it. Give me a ring. Won't you, won't you call them tonight and give me a ring tomorrow? I sure do want to count up 220 votes on this. I, I should know by noon tomorrow. You give me a ring, will you? Give me a ring. Thank you so much, Ashton, and I'll appreciate it, and I'll remember it. Thank you.